What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultima Device Vids, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys 20 free jailbreak tweaks for iOS 9.3.3. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first up we have Fingal, and this is actually a theming platform. It allows you to install themes that essentially animate your icons. So I'm currently using a theme right now called Shake It, and as you can see right here, it actually animates a lot of the stock icons. As you can see right there, the Maps application has a little car driving around in the icon. The settings app is spinning, uh, you can see that the weather application is moving, you know, wallet, uh, messages, a ton of applications just have these really cool animations. Uh, one of my personal favorites with this particular theme is the phone icon. You can see there, if you pay attention, it's actually rigging very subtly, so that's pretty cool. Another one of my personal favorites with this particular theme is the contacts app. You can see there it switches between the little sections on the side. So anyways, to configure this particular tweak, you jump into settings and then find Fingal. Uh, and then basically in here, you know, any theme that you install from Cydia, you could basically just drag from disabled to enabled, respring, and then you're done. In iOS 10, Apple added the option to close all tabs in Safari by tapping and holding the button down here. However, with Safari close all tabs, you could do that right now. Essentially, just you'll see a new X button after you install in here, select it, and hit close all tabs, and then you're done. However, this week actually has some other things that the iOS 10 one doesn't have. For example, if you tap and hold with two fingers, you can see there you could actually lock and unlock tabs. So you could have, you know, a certain tab stay open even if you you know execute the you know kill all commands so as you can see right here i have one currently with it is marked and if i select x no matter what happens it's still going to keep that one open nemirov gives you screenshot animations so as you can see right here when i take a screenshot you could actually set it to you know provide a nice animation that's a little bit different than the boring one that we're used to and you could actually configure these to your liking if you go into settings and open up you know nemirov or however you pronounce it uh, here you can enable or disable it you could choose the animation in here i'm using the checkerboard right now but there's a lot of other ones for example Triforce, you can see there, shrink. So, you know, just lots of stuff to choose from in here. Again, my personal favorite is checkerboard, but really cool tweak. And again, there's also some other color, you know, configuration down there. Reveal NC9 provides a different type of animation to the control center. As you can see there, it actually reveals as you swipe, as opposed to just, you know, having to pull all the way down. This was actually included in iOS 10 beta 3. So yet another iOS 10 feature that you can now install. Color keys allows you to change the color of your keyboard. As you can see right here, I have a red keyboard, which looks pretty decent. So to make sure this works, go into settings, go into color keys, make sure you have the tweak enabled, then go to pick a color of your choice, and just make sure you change it to something. You could drag around here, go back, respring, and you're good to go. Barry C8 gives you application shortcuts directly on your lock screen. As you can see right here, you can basically configure, you know, applications to show up down here. And to open them up, you just drag down to the bottom like this, and they open straight up. This actually works particularly well if you have Touch ID enabled because you could just slide down like this in application, lock it down here, and drag your finger right onto Touch ID just like that. Um, so it's a really handy tweak. And I gotta tell you guys, I use this every single day on my daily phone. So definitely, I love this tweak. So if you guys go into settings and open up Barry C8, uh, there's a lot of options to configure in here. By default, it's set to four you know, applications per page. But if you want, you could have all the way up to six on one page. You could also slide between the pages to access various applications. You could have up to 12 shortcuts, as you can see in here. So let's just configure a fifth one to, let's just say, calendar. Um, let's do six. Let's do clock. And we'll do a seventh as well. We'll do um, FaceTime. All right. So now I'm also just going to change the apps per page to six. And we'll just do a respring. All right. So as you can see here, you know, there's a lot more applications here. And I could also slide between pages just like this. And there you go. I have another page there. And again, I could access any of these applications easily. So really awesome tweak. And just to let you guys know with Barry C8, it doesn't necessarily work perfectly. Sometimes when I go to my lock screen, it doesn't appear as you can see right there. And I just have to unlock my device, lock it again, then it'll show up. So just to let you guys know, sometimes it randomly isn't there. But again, just lock your device, wake it back up, and it should be there. But again, that happens from time to time right now for me. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys just in case it happens to you as well. CC settings adds tons of new toggles to your control center and also allows you to rearrange the top section up here. So as you can see, I have tons of new ones here. I have cellular data, which is a you know toggle that a lot of people want. Uh, there's VPN. You can see there are kill background applications. And if we slide here, as you can see, we have so many other pages of other ones. There's personal hotspot. That, that's definitely a very convenient one. And again, there's just tons and tons of pages here to configure. And you can actually rearrange this to your liking if you head over to settings and then find CC settings and then open it up. And in here you could rearrange the toggles like this, uh, or you could actually drag them to do not include, do not include if you want to disable them. Then you could also customize how many toggles are on each line. You could up it to six. So now you'll see more toggles there than you're normally used to, which is also very nice. And there's a bunch of other options as well. So CC settings, epic tweak. 
MiniTime provides a redesigned clock lock screen interface for iOS. As you can see right here, it looks you know much cleaner. The just the times over there on the side, the dates over here, the time. Um, and again, it's just is a little bit cleaner than normal. However, in my personal opinion, it's a little bit too hard to see. So there's actually another theme in the MiniTime preferences that I actually prefer. And to be honest, I actually use this on a daily basis on my you know daily phone. And it's the you know basically M I U I one over here. And I actually really do like this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and respring to apply the changes here. All right, so this is the one that I was just telling you guys about. As you can see there, just over, over there to the side, a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to see, and it cleans the interface up. So I'm definitely a big fan of this one. So check out Mini Time. Safari Be Better provides some nice improvements to the mobile Safari application. As you can see here, when I scroll up and down, the bars at the top and bottom do not hide. They just stay there. And also, you notice how at the top, the URL is the, the, the full URL. It's not a shortened version of it. That's, that's another thing I really like about this tweak. So if you guys go into settings, you can open up Safari Be Better, and then you have Show Complete URL. Uh, allow bars auto hide then there's also this option called auto hide bookmarks and i can't really seem to figure out what this option does the auto hide bookmarks but these two options you know i, I really love them and i use them a ton Flash will add a flashlight shortcut to the corner of your lock screen when your iPhone is in a dark environment. This is a really cool tweak. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights in here. I'm just going to flip the surge protector with my toe. And as you can see there, immediately the flashlight shortcut appears. So really cool tweak. I, I could just tap on it. And as you can see there, it automatically turns on the flashlight. I could tap it again and it's off. So now I'm just going to go ahead and turn the lights back on and I'll, sh and I'll show you guys how reliable it is. It's just going to disappear there. Just give it a second, and there you go, it's just gone. So really cool tweak, I'm very impressed by this. It's called Flash. Zeppelin is a classic. I've been talking about this tweak since 2012, I believe. Uh, it essentially allows you to change your carrier text, you know, up in the upper left-hand corner, or if you have an iPad or iPod, it'll change where it says iPad or iPod. As you can see right here, I have an Apple logo, you know, right there right now, and it looks very nice. So this tweak comes with various custom ones, you know, just pre-installed with the tweak, but you can also go out and download ones from Cydia, and it'll appear in the settings. So if you guys open up settings on your device after you install it, just scroll down until you find Zeppelin and open it up. Of course, you could enable or disable the tweak, and then you could go into theme. And as you can see, there's tons that just come right with the tweak. So as you can see, there's a Cloud, Beats by Dre, Nike, just cool stuff like that. Uh, I'll show you guys the Cloud one. And, you know, as of right now with iOS 9.3.3, you know, so sometimes you have to lock your device in order to, for, for it to display properly. As you can see there, it's kind of overlapping with the Wi-Fi. And sometimes, sometimes it doesn't appear until you lock your device and then unlock it. Then it'll be perfectly aligned and it'll look great. Um, so let's try out a different one. Let's try out uh, Nike. And I'll show you guys that one. So we'll just lock the device and unlock and there you go it's a really awesome tweak this is definitely a must-have volume percentage will add a percentage to the volume hud pop-up as you can see right there there's a percentage there so it's just you know it provides you with some new information to make sure you're getting the precise reading that you may want uh, if you go into settings and open up volume percentage uh, there's some configuration you could show the percent sign or not show the percent sign there's precision you could have essentially how precise you want it to be so if i have four decimal places it's going to be very specific and if i have zero it's not going to be specific at all there's also a few themes to configure as well if you go into theme so there's normal which is this one and then there's normal with large percentage centered, which will essentially just replace that speaker in the middle with the percentage, which is actually the one I prefer. Then there's large percentage only, just like that. Again, I, I prefer this one. Again, the normal with large percentage center because you could still see that little dot indicator in the percentage. So really cool tweak. Definitely check it out. Volume percentage. Speed intensifier allows you to speed up animations on your device. When you open and close applications, as you can see right here, when you tap on, you know, sub menus like this, when you unlock your device, so essentially it just provides you with a speed boost because Apple, of course, makes the animations a little bit slower. So if you go into the settings for the tweak, there's various, you know, modes you could set. Um, then there's various speed settings here. I have it on X6, but you could go all the way up to X9 or infinity and infinity is just no animations at all. And there's various other options to configure in here. So this is a really cool tweak as well. I use this constantly. You really get used to it after you use it for a while. Next up is swipe selection, and this is an awesome tweak. What are my personal favorites? Essentially, it allows you to, you know, move through text just by swiping on the keyboard like this. And as you can see right there, it's essentially just moving my cursor through the text. It's much better than having to tap with the magnifying glass and go like this. It's so much more natural just to do it right from down here. You could also highlight text by dragging, starting with the delete key like this, which is really nice. So that's very handy as well. You could delete it or do anything else with it. And you could also highlight by swiping on the shift key going the other direction as well.
So the iPhone 6S, you know, with 3D Touch, it does have a similar feature where you press in on the keyboard, then you can move the cursor around, but this tweak is much easier to use and much better implements to do so. Swipe selection, awesome tweak for all devices. Definitely go install this one. Analog status provides you with an analog clock in your status bar as opposed to the numerical one. So it just looks a little bit classier, a little bit better, 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 I, I, I guess that works. But anyways, awesome tweaks. Just, you know, probably that nice little analog clock there just to make things look a little bit cleaner. Fuse drastically improves the interface when you're listening to music on the lock screen. So this is what it looks like. So it makes so much more sense this way. The controls for actually controlling your music, everything is accessible right down here towards the bottom of the screen. So it's easily accessible with one hand. Um, and then you get your album artwork in the middle and you still get a big clock towards the top. Normally, you know, it's forced into a smaller one, which is on the status bar. You know, that one's still there, but you also get a bigger clock. It looks better. You still get the big clock and everything is much easier to access. It just makes so much more sense. So here's a comparison to how it normally looks in iOS. Again, as you can see there, you lose the big clock and it's hard to access these controls. So this essentially fixes both of those issues. So, so definitely check out Fuse. It's a really good tweak. Better five icon dock allows you to place five icons down below on the dock. So the original five icon dock is not supported. So better five icon dock is the one you're going to want to install. So it just allows you to place an, you know, another icon down here wherever you want. So definitely a cool tweak. You could just fit more down there. Pull to respring allows you to respring in the settings application just by pulling to refresh like this. Simple as that. There's also a toggle in the settings application for pull to respring right there. Boot screen customization allows you to customize the respring logo on your device. Um, ironically, even though it's called boot screen customization, it actually doesn't allow you to customize the boot logo. Uh, normally with previous jailbreaks, this actually would uh, theme the last few seconds before your device booted up, it would theme. However, because this jailbreak, uh, you have to repeat this little step with this application to get all your tweaks working. Unfortunately, it only works with respringing, but either way, it's a really cool tweak. So jump into settings, jump into boot screen customization, make sure the tweaks enabled. And then you want to go to select here, select custom, then you want to go to the next select button and hit custom. So the first one is for the, for the Apple logo and the second one is background color. So you can go into Apple color, change the color here, select done, go into background color, change it here, select done. Then, you know, just go ahead and select apply and immediately you'll see your respring logo will be customized. So it looks pretty good like that. But again, it doesn't work with rebooting, unfortunately. But if you guys install tweaks frequently and you respring frequently, this is definitely something you should try out. Color switches allows you to customize the color of the on off switches in iOS. As you can see right there, I currently have it set to like a purplish maroon type color and it looks pretty decent. So uh, to configure this tweak, just open up settings, scroll down till you see color switches, open it up, make sure the tweak is enabled, select the color of your choice here. Just drag it around until you have what you want, go back, then hit restart springboard and then it's done. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys found some good tweaks to install on your newly jailbroken devices. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel. For many more videos on jailbreak tweaks, I'll be uploading tons and tons of more videos talking about all the awesome tweaks for iOS 9.3.3. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll put all those links down below in the description. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.